Hello, folks, and welcome to Chad Vader, the story of Darth <laughs> Vader's less popular younger brother who works at a grocery store. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is Beer and Board Games. I guess I'm already playing Deception, the Game of Lies. <laughs> Deception, a game of lies, asks the age-old question, how well do you really know your friends? Will they really give you a beer if you ask for one? I'm not bluffing. I have beer for you. Woo! Tonight we are drinking Fest Beer, 5.6% alcohol, Martzen Lager from the Brothers Craft Brewing Company. From Mel. Thanks, Mel. Okay, Tony, there's your bottle opener. Enjoy. Oh, <laughs> this bottle opener is a spoon. I've been deceived. <laughs> that is really nice. I detect right, notes of vanilla. Oh. I got a really powerful hit of vanilla on the first sip, and now I'm not tasting it. It's weird. Does anyone else taste hay? Oh, I don't. I swear to God, it's like harvest. I got a big vanilla blast, and then it just went away. Story of my life. Big vanilla blast, and then he disappears, and I'm lonely once again. Aww. I swear, Matt, I'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> it's oh my. me, Big Vanilla Blast. <laughs> Tonight's episode is partially sponsored by the makers of Deception, A Game of Lies. Cheers. And we got the cash from them, so they were not fibbing. Oh, yeah. No, they didn't fib. And they paid in cash. Small bills. Yeah. In a Wendy's sack. Here you go. And I said, ooh, big bacon deluxe for me. Oh, it's full of money. But you ate it anyway. No, I, I had to pay it all to Big Vanilla Blast. <laughs> I was behind yeah. on my payments. The yeah. man owes me money. <laughs> what can I say? I'm going to give one identity card to each of you. Look at it, but do not reveal. Is anyone the judge? And it just so happens that it's me. I'm the judge. I'm going to take the deception deck, and I am going to flip up a category card for it. You all to see. For it, you all to see. For it, <laughs> it, you. Tony, the secret robot, is finally malfunctioning. Yeah. I have not been able to charge my battery. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a tale of a nightmare or a fear that you've had. We have two confessors who must tell the truth, and one deceiver who is forced to tell. Forced to tell. To tell a vicious lie. For my, almost my entire life, I've had this weird fear of dropping things into water. You oh, know, shit. He's and lying. Break. He's fucking lying. He'll break. So fishing would be difficult for you. He has no problem with scamming people online. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Matt. As I'm... long as the computer's not near water. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, a nightmare or fear? I, that also, I have a fear. I'm really, really afraid of radon gas. When I moved into my house several years ago, they had a radon detector. And it just made me think about radon and how you don't know it's there. And you'll just go to sleep and you'll just die. I sometimes find myself preoccupied with the idea that there could be a radon leak. Linda! I have a nightmare that I was at a party and I met Nicolas Cage. And we became attracted to each other. He said, if you really want to be with me, you have to follow me into the seven layers of hell. And we started going down into each... into the seven layers of hell. And, uh, That's exactly what it was like. First layer is not so bad, but once you get to number five... So I went through all seven layers, and when we get down to the bottom, he turns to me and he says, I could never love you. First, I have to choose my favorite and... Wait, no you don't. Look at this. Oh yeah, no, that's the interrogation yeah, round. Yeah, there's an so... interrogation round. All right. Have you dropped anything in the water before? Yes. You're not what, in front of Congress. What was it? <laughs> I don't remember. I know I have. Lies. I know I have. Lies and mendacity. <laughs> One time Courtney dropped some sunglasses in the water and I, re I found them in an improbably dark lake bottom. One time we were trying to dispose a body at the ocean and he turned out to be not dead and he grabbed my tiara that I won in the beauty pageant and um, my boyfriend had to go in and dive in for it. Wait, I'm sorry. That was the movie I Know What You Did Last Summer. Now playing on Welcome to the Basement. <laughs> Matt, Matt, <laughs> to interrogate your story, Matt, what does a radon detector look like? It's a little circle. Um, it looks like a smoke detector. I think I'm supposed to attach it to the wall somewhere, but we just have it sitting on the floor by our, by our table. On the back, it says the different types of signals. Like, there's a particular signal if it's smoke, there's a signal if it's radon, there's a signal for something else. Do you know what causes radon? No. 
What is radon? It's an invisible gas that kills your ass. I thought it was... <laughs> it's invisible gas that kills your ass. All right. Radon! My favorite story has to be Linda's, just because you went nightmare, and it was a very entertaining nightmare. Matt is the liar, and only because I have a similar fear of being next to water or heights dropping any object in. Yes. How? Deceiver! How many points did you get, bro? So I've got three. Linda's got two. Tell us a tale involving alcohol. It was the night before Gen Con. I was probably 13 years old. We wanted to get an early start, so my friends who were going with us, Jason and Joe, were staying over at our house. My brother Dale, for some reason, had gone to bed. Jason and Joe were, they were sort of were more like juvenile delinquents than I was, and they were like, I wish we had some booze. <laughs> and I said, well, my parents have a liquor cabinet downstairs, and they were like, go get the booze. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bottle of like blackberry brandy, I think it was. We were drinking the, the booze. And my brother woke up in the middle of it, and he came in, and he got, and he was livid. We had to convince him not to tell mom and dad. I'll tell you about the first time I ever got drunk. I was somewhere around 15. I was on my way to go roller skating with my friends. And we stopped and one of the older guys who drove a Trans Am and still liked to hang out with 15 year olds. Oh, this is trouble. This and is had, trouble waiting to happen. And he had porn in his Trans Am. <laughs> Why are you getting a little porn? <laughs> Hello. Hello. What the hell was that? <laughs> so I drank three full-size plastic cups of lime vodka. I was dating a girl who uh, was more of a bad Mormon. girl. She smoked. She got into trouble. So she was like, I'm going to teach you how to do tequila shots. So we matched shot for shot through the night. I woke up the next morning and I profusely vomited throughout the day. And I'm the sort of vomiter who is, it sounds like I'm yelling at my toilet when I throw up. So it's just, ha! Just until there was nothing left. But I vomited so hard that I broke blood vessels in my eyes. It looked awful, but I had to go teach at a youth camp. And at this youth camp, they have a legend called Old Red Eyes who is stalks the <laughs> campground. And, and then I show up with the whites of my eyes completely turned red. And they're like, old red eyes is here. Your profusion of details will not hide your lies. All I have to say is, I'm the kind of guy who likes to barf around. Yeah, I'm the vomiter. I am <laughs> the vomiter. I, I barf around. It's currently Matt with five, Linda with four, and me hanging out at three. We're having a fun time playing Deception, the Game of Lies. This is a real simple party game that you can play with your friends. And you can get it at the Kickstarter, which is going on right now. Contribute. You could get your own copy of the game, and you could make it a reality. Look, they sent us a nice card. Listen to this. Hey, guys, as a group of big drinkers and lovers of games, we've been big fans of beer and board games for a while now. We really appreciate you taking a look at Deception. We love your videos primarily because you play every game with a goal to laugh and have fun, rarer to find than you think. Thank you for getting us. I am the judge. Tell us a tale, a time you lied. Yeah. And I swore there was no proof, but I'm afraid I told a lie. Nick Cave. <laughs> oh my God. I finally did <laughs> finally. a Nick Cave reference after <laughs> yes. all this time. And it sounded just like him. I was doing the Johnny Cash version of a Nick Cave song. Oh. Mercy seed is weeding. I think my head is burning. Why didn't you say bleeding? That would have rhymed. I think my head is bleeding. <laughs> I whacked my head on the side of the bed. <laughs> Old Vanilla Blast was going way too fast. <laughs> and I believe I told a lie. <laughs> Vanilla Blast, is this true? <laughs> it's an accurate depiction of the story. Yeah. I'll tell you about a time I lied. I once called Matt Sloan my friend. <laughs> How did you know that's what I was going to say? I once was really, really upset with my brother. Well, not once. That happened a lot. He was walking down the stairs, and I ran down about halfway down the stairs, and I pushed him down the stairs. <laughs> Okay, favorite story, lie. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I lied. <laughs> Seven <laughs> points. Tell me about a time you found yourself in a 
sticky situation. I was working at the Summertime Restaurant in Door County, 1995. And there was this kindly old couple, and they were nice, and they were telling me what a good waiter I was, and they were telling me what a nice young man I was, and they were started telling me about their daughter who lives in Chicago, and she's a nice young gal, and boy... I bet you two would hit it off. And if you're ever in Chicago, you can stay at our house and you can take our daughter out on a date and she'll just love you because you're a nice young man. And it was a sticky situation because I just did my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I have Seems 10 like points. He's lying. I've won nope. this game. When you go to DFTBA, dot com slash beer and board games you can buy one of your own beer and board game steins oh wait no you can't <gasps> nope. they're all sold out oh you too late sucker no. ever because of you good people who have stepped up you have exhausted our supply of steins and we couldn't be happier but there's other beer and board games merch on that store that you can get we have plenty of sets of coasters left and beer and board games keychains and when you buy both of them at once, you will get a 15% discount. Do it now because shipping times are crazy. I heard the tiptoeing footsteps of what might be a sheeple. Oh, yep. <laughs> there she is. There's hey. our proud sheeple. Hi, everybody. How you doing, Cookie? What have you been up to this week? Well, I finally got that vaccine. What? <laughs> You told us, you lied to us multiple times that you've gotten the vaccine. Every day. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a vaccine fabulist. Make up lies about vaccines. I can't stop myself. It's like a drug. Specific lies. Deceptions. Deception. A game of lies you pursued a on. A game of, that's my life. But this time I'm totally telling the truth. Where's your card? It's a, uh, uh, the glove compartment <laughs> of my neighbor's car. <laughs> they let me stow stuff there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I sleep in there when me and Petey have a fight. <laughs> Who's your neighbor? My neighbor is Gary Leeway. <laughs> Gary. Gar Gary Leeway. He demonstrates lots of leeway by letting me use his car. <laughs> Proof finally comes out. Got the vaccine. Mm. All right, so if we talk to Gary Leeway, we can verify <laughs> that he took you. Talk to him. I don't care. Okay. And if we look in Gary Leeway's glove <laughs> compartment, we will find your card. That's right. You can't call him. You don't got no phone. Oh. I don't know who you're dialing. Now who's telling lies? <laughs> phone lies. <laughs> Awfully defensive. Yeah, sucker. <laughs> Where did they give you the shot? In the arm. And then one in the back. <laughs> what? They gave me both at once because I'm so late. <laughs> if you got the vaccine and if you're feeling side effects, you potentially be feeling nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, chills, congestion, muscle pain, or headache. You sound like somebody who works at a hospital but is not trained <laughs> in medicine. Really loving what you got on your feet there. Need to my booties, my classic look. <laughs> oh, handstands. Headstands. I'm an exploit at the motionless head spin. Emotionless head spin? The emotionless head spin. I feel nothing. <laughs> yes, this has been fun, but I gotta go. I gotta go sleep off the side effects. You know. I do. You do. <laughs> yep. if, if Bye. You were, if you were in Britain, you'd be a baby biscuit. Bye. <laughs> I'm glad I missed that one. <laughs> We'd like you to make 12 individual baby biscuits. Baby biscuits. They must be cream covered with <laughs> and the jam of your choice. And identical. This will be judged blind, so we're going to ask Paul and Prue to leave the tent off your pump. <laughs> I've decided to make a rose flavoured treat because I know that all the judges hate rose. I'm going to make my biscuits vegan, ensuring a swift elimination. <laughs> I'm going to load my biscuits into a cannon and fire them into the judge's mouth at a high velocity. I never make a biscuit. We don't have a biscuit in Italy. But I, I will still make the best one. You know, if you move a couple of letters around and add a comma, Matt Sloan becomes Matt Sloan. Yeah, which he's which, talked to his banker about. Yeah, I think he's paid most of it off. Yeah, Burn. with interest. And speaking of interest, here's Matt Sloan. He's very interested. He is. 
Look at him waggle his little digits. You can tell. How do you detect when someone is interested? It depends on how much they're waving their hands around. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. Interested. <laughs> Ta-da!